Welcome all of you on behalf of the rector of the University Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Norte, Professor Angela Cruz. It's a great pleasure to be here since we consider that the, the very idea. Mar del Plata, Argentina, my university. And this is our picture from remove cutting bonds. Then we have the following situation. Building a dam, so the red, red lines are dams, and the. We are now going to play a video which uh, Mr. Italo here, who is uh, recording the event, insisted on showing you. I haven't seen it myself. I'm a little fearful. <laughs> um, and afterwards, um uh, about one and a half years ago, uh, Marcus Luz, who is here, Ernesto Raposo, and myself were exchanging emails, and we realized that um, Gene Stanley and Leah Sir Lucena both have their 70th birthdays in 2011. So uh, we exchanged several emails, and we realized that they have much in common history and friendship, and um, we decided it would be a good idea to hold a scientific conference in their honor, in the honor of their 70th birthday. So um, we put this conference together and the, the subtitle of this conference, one of the subtitles is Percolation Towards Science and Friendship. And so that says something about the nature of the conference. Uh, it is about science and it's also about friendship in the sense that a lot of the people here participating are um, friends. They've been friends or they've made friendships uh, recently and it's a get-together which is both scientific as well as uh, social in this sense. I'm not sure because obviously they are much, much simpler and they don't have to see when you should give up. You might be at the right place, but you're, you're not finding your target. Your target might be your desk and you're looking for crisis. And uh, we're going to try to answer the question, can an upcoming financial system crisis be detected using physics? And Jeannie, you were not here in the beginning, but uh, when I moved from experimental biophysics to statistical mechanics, my first step with was studying your book. <laughs> Scaling of the permeability. We have that the effective permeability goes like flow rate. We go to 0.65% saturation, 0.65 saturation, 65%. Uh, it's a real great pleasure to be here for the 70th fest for both Gene and Leah's here. As many of you know, Leah Sear was my graduate student. He got his PhD with me. What you may not know is, is that Gene Stanley brought me to Boston University. And for some short period of time, uh, perhaps four months, I was Gene's postdoc. So in some sense, um, Leah Sear is Gene's grandson in some way, some scientific way. Even though it was a short-lived postdoc with Gene, it was a postdoc. So Leah Sear is sort of Gene's uh, scientific grandson. Now, of course, I have the privilege of being in the same university with Gene, so when I want to talk to him, I just go down to his office and, and find him and I can talk to him. With Leah Sear, I don't have that privilege. He's here and it's a long way away, but I've become very used to Skype recently, so I hopefully will get a chance to talk to him more. But they are both a great pleasure to talk to. I always find their conversations interesting and I always find them to be friendly and accepting and a, a pleasure to be around. 
So again, I want to wish both of them, both Leah Sear and Jean, uh, a great birthday. I'm not quite sure when Leah Sear's birthday is. I know Jean's birthday was a number of months ago, but I want to wish them a happy birthday anyway. I, I have tears in my eyes. I honestly don't even know where to begin. These last few days have been the most moving of my entire professional life, and that's not an exaggeration. And when I watch that film, I start to actually weep. It is unbelievable. Such warmth and humanity here. I, it's, uh, I, just, I, you, I should start by thanking the organizers. But the truth is, I have to thank everyone who is here, because you are really wonderful people. And uh, so that's one thing. I have also to acknowledge that someone is not here, Idalia Stanley, who loved Brazil, who has put up with me as a husband for 35 years, and those of you who don't know, was diagnosed with lung cancer and died about a year later. So. Uh, she loved everything about Brazil, everything Brazilians, and she loved uh, just the spirit of Brazil. So, uh, here is uh, really a, a magic place. So, 70 years late, again, in Brazilian and in American, held a, a second meeting, not about war, but about science and friendship. And here they are. In the same magic place of Natal. <laughs>